Physics, aka Tony here, and I hope everybody is well. You guys recently enlisted me for my keybinds, so I thought I'd make a quick video to go ahead and give those out. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at here uh, is with regards to my mouse. Uh, my mouse, actually, I run at 400 DPI. My look sensitivity is set to 10. My ADS sensitivity modifier is set for 0 0.8. Those three together give you my effective DPI or my effective sensitivity. Uh, otherwise, we have the vertical inversion and the horizontal inversion set for the default of not inverted and the aim smoothing set, of course, for off. As far as the common common key binds, we have move forward, move left, move backwards, move right, set for W, A, S, and D. The finisher slash player highlight set for G. Um, that right there is probably more impactful in PVE, so not as big of a deal in PVP. Uh, the emotes are arbitrarily set for 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm sorry, 1, 2, 3, and the letter T. But of course, you can set these for whatever you want. You'll see below that I don't use 1, 2, and 3 um, or numbers just in general for switching my weapons. So I can kind of use them for whatever, but I can give you more details on that below. Push to talk is not set for anything because I don't use that feature. And then the return to orbit slash orbit i'm sorry slash abort activity is set for o we're actually going to slide all the way down before we get to the meat of it and just go over just the vehicle and ui shortcuts um, just to be complete the primary weapon fire while in a vehicle is left clicker secondary weapon fire is set to e zoom while in a vehicle is set for right clicker boost is set for right clicker brake is set for shift the exit vehicle is, is set for spacebar deploy ghost is set for tab Open Director is set for M. Uh, director Roster is set for U. The Start Menu Character is set for J. The Inventory for I and the Settings set for Backspace. So just quickly, my philosophy, uh, my philosophy for how I go about my keybinds is I'm trying to keep as many keys that I would use in combat settings, right? In combat settings as close as possible to the default keys that I would rest my fingers on, right? So my fingers are resting just naturally on A, W, and D, shift and spacebar, right? And so I'm trying to keep the keys that I would use in combat in engagements as close to those keys as possible, preferably within one degree of separation from those keys. And so, keys that I would not use in combat, such as the keys down here for deploy ghost, director, uh, roster, etc., etc. Those are keys that I try to keep um, greater than one degree of separation or just far, far away, far away from those keys so that I don't mispress them while I'm in combat, right? I don't mispress them. So um, that being the case, I just want everything to be nice and comfortable, nice and clean. I don't want to make any mistakes consistency 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 right while we're in combat and part of that when we're talking about using mouse and keyboard is, is ensuring that you have these clean button presses and there, that there isn't any confusion you know so for example i try not to use e and r for two different functions right my e is set to grenade as you'll see down here and my R is set for stasis breakout, which is something that I use very, very infrequently. The stasis breakout is set for R. But I don't want like common, very common um, key presses to be right next to each other oftentimes because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to make a mispress. I don't want to make a mispress. And so actually a very good example is I used to have the button T button t uh, for thomas i used to have that as my super key and i recently changed that to four uh the number four just so that i don't mispress you know in like a in, in a in a high uh a high pressure situation mispress r when i meant to press t or mispress e when i meant to press r etc etc hopefully you get my point i like to keep them within one degree of separation um from the WASD keys uh, that I naturally rest my fingers on. So let's get to the rest of the keys for the key bindings. Uh, fire, I use left clicker per the norm. Reload is F. Auto melee, so they recently changed these settings um, in Destiny 2. Now you can actually make a distinction between 
a keybind for charged melee and a keybind for uncharged melee. I don't do this because I haven't, the subclasses that I play, I haven't really had an issue with this. So I still use the auto melee feature, which is uh, the binding that you would, you know, use prior to them, prior to them uh, giving us these two different uh, binding distinctions. Um, the auto melee basically functions like the old feature. And so that's what I use. And for melee, I just press down on the scroll, uh, scroll wheel. So that's what I use for my melee. Um, this is the next, this is kind of the tricky one. This is kind of the unorthodox one that everybody always gives me this side eye about is to ADS, uh, to hold zoom. I actually use the thumb button, I actually use the thumb rocker right here. So you've got on my mouse, you've got the left clicker, you've got the right clicker right here. Um, but then you also have these thumb buttons on the side, right? The front thumb button right here and then the back thumb button. And so in order to ADS, I actually use this front thumb button. And then you're asking the question, oh, well, Tony, <laughs> what do you use your left clicker for then if you don't use it to ADS like everybody else, right? So I actually will scroll down here a little bit and I actually jump. jump, jump. I jump with right click on my mouse. Strange, I know. Strange. Um, but for <laughs> for lack of better words, uh, that's just what I that's that's just what felt comfortable when I was learning M and K, and that's just that's just what clicked, right? That's just what clicked. And so we actually use right clicker on the mouse for jump, and in order to ADS, I actually use uh, hold zoom on the front thumb button or the front rocker on my mouse. Light attack, if I'm in super, is the left clicker. Heavy attack is the uh, front thumb rocker or th front thumb button on my mouse. Block while I'm in super is pressing in. So it's the same as I use for my melee, pressing in on the scroll wheel. Jump, as I said, is right clicker on my mouse. Toggle sprint is what I use. That is the shift key. Because I don't jump with my space bar, which is normally what folks do on M and K, I actually use the space bar for toggle crouch. We're gonna skip on these two real quick and come back to it. Um, the interact key is actually the caps lock key. My grenade is E, my super is the number four. Stasis breakout, if you're frozen and you need to break out of stasis crystals is actually R. And then to switch weapons, this is the other thing. To switch weapons, I actually use just one key, Q. I tap Q in order to switch to my secondary and then I tap Q again in order to switch back to my primary, uh, otherwise known as your kinetic or your energy weapon, right? If I wanna to get to my power weapon, all I do is press and hold Q, press and hold Q. So it gives me the ability to only use, only have to use one key in order to switch between all three of my weapons. I tap Q in order to switch between my kinetic and energy weapon. I hold Q in order to switch to my power weapon. And then I tap Q again in order to switch back to whatever the previous weapon was uh, between the kinetic and the energy weapon before I switched to the power weapon. And so this is this is something that I found out maybe, I don't know, a few months after I switched to M and K and it just, it yeah, again, it just clicked. <laughs> it just clicked and it's super easy. And again, it's one button that I use very, very often in combat that is one degree of separation from where my keys, where my fingers normally rest at the WASD keys, right? So the last kind of, nuanced nuanced thing as far as keybinds uh that i do uh which is you know nothing crazy but i use the uh class ability um i set that on my hunter specifically on my hunter i set that for the back rocker on my mouse and then air move on hunter for example i think the only air move that you know you would use on your hunter would be stasis shatter dive right and i set that for a control the control key now if i'm on top dawn i'm on top dawn right running icarus dash i actually flip these two the class ability would end up being my rift would end up being the control key and my air move would be the back rocker on my mouse back thumb rocker similar to this right here right i mean well exactly this right here um so it'd be the that it'd be the back thumb button on my mouse the reason for that is the same way that i use dodge on a hunter I use Icarus Dash on my top dawn. And so in order to make that transition between the two when I'm switching characters fairly seamless, I make sure that they, those two are both bound to the same button. 
So if I'm on Hunter, then it's the back rocker on the mouse, uh, back thumb uh, rocker, that's the class ability. And then the air move is control, the control key. If I'm on top dawn, I just end up inverting these two, flipping these two. The air move ends up then being the back rocker, back thumb rocker, and the class, but I'm sorry, class ability ends up being the control key. So hopefully that makes sense for everybody. But those are my keybinds. Again, the philosophy is to keep uh, as many things that I use in combat, as many keys that I use in combat, uh, as close to the keys that I naturally rest my fingers on, which is A, W, D, Shift, and Spacebar. Try not to have anything really too far away from those keys so that uh, my button presses are clean, that I don't get confused in the pressure of the moment. Um, and that I don't have to stretch my fingers too far across the, uh, you know, the keyboard uh, in these engagements. And then for anything that I don't normally use in combat, I just push those as far away from my normal keys as possible so that I don't have some sort of accidental button press um, of some obscure key that I don't need in combat. So if you have any questions and comments, please leave them below. Be sure to follow on my socials in the description, of course. And if you found value in the video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications below. We'll see you next time.